this is Professor Kip Arvind's web page where you can see how to set up Visual Studio 2010 for using Microsoft Micro Assembler. All the necessary library files are available on the web page on the link given here. Based on which package you are using, you will have download one of these library files. After downloading the files and installing Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, you should be able to see this. We click open project to open one of the existing projects downloaded from Professor Kipperwitz's page. As you can see that I have downloaded the package to C drive folder named Arvin. Under examples, all the projects and problems from his book have been classified by the chapter number. I open chapter 3 project and project solution. Open. I have modified this specific file for taking user input and adding two integers which we were earlier working with on Masam 6.15. So I have added the file. Next step is to add this file to a project. So I click on project, right click and I will do add, add existing files and pick let us say main.asm which was the part of the main program originally click add I will remove this file from the project exclude from the project and I am now left with main.asm which came with the software download I can build the project under debug build solution and it shows the build succeeded did not fail and then I can build the project and start without debugging and there you see that the program works and that's it I will now include the file that we were using for doing 16-bit addition by clicking add existing item the name of the item was user input dot asm click add i will remove main dot asm from the project i am left with user input i go to debug i build the solution and you can see it succeeded i will run it and now it prompts me to enter the data so i enter 34345 enter I enter the second number 5678 enter and the answer is 9132 so this was a C type program where we take user input for two numbers and add them together you can as you can see the CR and LF are global constants this here is the data segment this part is the code segment and finally this is the end you can see number of macros being used such as call write string, call read int, call write int, call crlf, call write string, call write int and these are all the macros defined in the Kip Arvin library which I can show to you over here. The macros are all defined in the library for example this is ttry. I have the library for Marsam 6.15 if you go to lib and Arvin library help there you can see that all the macros have been defined you can use all of these macros for developing programs on Visual Studio 2010 for Microsoft Macro Assembler you can also see a list of predefined constants on the arvin32.inc file over here so delay, dump memory, temp registers these are all the different 
Frank Rose available. 